Hi everyone, who stayed up late and watched HSN special last night? I did, and this morning I am tired, but it was worth it. I did get um, some something fun in the mail today, so I just wanted to show you that quick. I got the um, Scrap Box Self Healing Cutting Mat, and it is humongous. So it came in the mail, and the FedEx guy came, and I looked, and there was this long, flat box, and I was like, what in the world am I getting? Um, so, my memory's not very good. So, there it is. It goes from there all the way over there. It's huge. So, that is my new cutting mat, so I'm excited about that. It's from the original scrap box, which is also where I won the original scrap box from. So, I can't wait to get that. I'm hoping it comes sometime this month, but I'll keep you guys posted. Also, today I'm going to show you a quick little school project that you can do with your kids for your kid's teacher. I'm going to be using the Crickets and I have the metallic set and then I also have one of these to give away to you guys today. So what we're going to be doing is making our own personal stationery. So I have this set up on the Gypsy and I'll just zoom in quick. On here I just have the name written six times and I have it spaced out so that I will be able to cut this in four by six inch pieces. Okay, so let's get the pen loaded and then I'll show you how quick this is to write. So I'm going to take one of my Cricut pens and I'm going to actually use purple because this is going to be for my daughter's teacher. My daughter's favorite color is purple. So this just snaps in there, it's magnetic. And then we'll go over to the Cricut. Now that we're here, we've taken out the blade and now we're just going to put the Cricut's housing in here instead and there's a little groove exactly where it goes so you know exactly how to put it in there then you tighten the screw and then I'll bring my gypsy over here okay we're all loaded and we're ready to go the only difference is for me is that I usually do a multi cut and with the pen I'm not going to do that I'm just going to do a regular one time cut Instead of cutting, it's just going to draw. Okay, now that it is all printed out, we have all of these pretty white sheets with her name written on them, and then I've also added some purples in there, so it's it's prettier. So now we're going to bring out the cinch, and I've had this for a while, and I, I don't do as much as I should, but that's okay. Um, we're going to use two thicker pieces of paper you can use, chipboard if you want or something like that, but I'm just going to use heavy cardstock and I'm going to use it in dark purple and I'm going to put two sheets behind the book. Okay, So then I'm going to tap it so it's all nice and flat Then I'm going to slide it under here. Okay, Now I have this little grid right here so it says that this is four inches wide so I read that and it says pull peg eight so I pulled the pit this peg out and that's gonna punch exactly enough holes that I need for this so I'm gonna make sure my paper is in there nice and tight and then I'm gonna just push down depending on how much paper you have in there depends on how hard it is to push down okay I put in a ton okay so there's my pieces of paper okay so it's all done and I'm actually gonna add some more because I got a little crazy with cutting the paper and I'm not Mrs. Dale so I don't need it okay so now that we have that we're going to put on our binding wire so what we'll do is we'll just cut off a little piece of this I'm still leaving the thick cardstock in the back and then I'm just gonna put my binding wire in I remember being a teacher and I used to love to get personalized gifts. So, okay, once my binding wire is in, then I'm going to cinch it. So I'm just going to turn the cinch around. After it's cinched, we're just going to flip that one piece back. So now we've covered our cinched spot. We'll put this to the side. And now we can decorate the front and she's got a personalized little notebook. Okay, so that was using the crickets and the cinch, and if you leave a comment on my blog, www.pinkcricket.com, you can enter to win your own set of crickets. So get on there and leave me a comment, and then I will draw the person, the winner, 
sometime tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone.